Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Honoring Tech Corner, the corner of the web where we talk about tech. And today we're going to be doing a review of the Aspire XC866 from Acer. Let's get started. Now, at the, uh, I think it was the very first video of this channel, we did an unboxing of the Acer Aspire. Um, and I've actually been enjoying the use of this computer uh, for making all the videos you see here, um, editing video, photos. Uh, actually, right until I upgraded, I couldn't really play any games on it. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at some graphs, charts. Uh, but first, we're going to take a look at a uh, complete teardown. So we've got the teardown going on here. And first thing we got to do to open up the case is remove this screw here and this screw here. So now I'll remove this old side panel. So let's crack this thing open. Okay, so we remove this eye panel, and now we have a good look at the internals. Alright, so right here is our 9400. Uh, there's our RAM, our disk drive, and hard drive underneath. It looks like it's a 2.5 inch uh, drive. Then over here we have our power supply. It's actually a little weaker than I thought it was. It's actually a light on 220 watt power supply uh, so that's going to be a little a uh, little limiting so let's move on to uh, performance um, under under load uh, the, the the temps actually been pretty good um, under our synth uh, synthetic loads such as our blender benchmarks uh, we've been running at 79 degrees Celsius but in real world such as premiere renderings and stuff like that uh, even games, we've been running at uh, 74, which is actually pretty respectable for the case. Um, it makes it even better that it actually doesn't have a graphics card, so there's that, uh, there's one less source of heat. Now, speaking of Blender renders, we actually did a render of our very first episode, complete timeline. Um, and we did, and we run the test at uh, 720p, 1080p, and 4K. And it actually got pretty respectable times for a five minute video. Um, so I'm really hoping we get to uh, improve that as we upgrade this computer. From here on out, I'm just going to let uh, uh, let the graphs do the talking because I did, uh, again, not a, a premiere render, which we already seen. I did uh, four different games. I ran through Grand Theft Auto V and online. I ran, I ran through Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Fortnite, and uh, CSGO. Which should give us a broad spectrum of uh, uh, what we should expect uh, going from uh, esports games to AAA titles. Um, I also did uh, all five of the Blender renders: uh, the BMW uh, 27, Classroom, Fishy Cat, Coro, and uh, Pavilion uh, Barcelona. Uh, and that gave us pretty much a wide range of uh, different things that. Uh, that we're looking at so without further ado roll the slides Now that we're taking a look at everything, including a teardown, slides, everything, um, please let us know in the comments what you think about uh, the, the times. Were they respectable? Were they, were they not? Um, 
I, I, I really was disappointed in the gaming performance considering it has a uh, uh, ninth gen Core i3, but eh, what, what, what can you do for $500? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like uh, button, uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification, uh, and we'll see you in the next video.